I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, we've been hearing from ranchers and farmers who are supportive of the oil and gas industry and are politically conservative who are frustrated with the unilateral cutting of lease payments and the environmental impacts of oil and gas infrastructure on their land. This report talks about transparency and accountability for those opposing hydrocarbon extraction in the province. Do you support the same level of transparency and accountability for multinational corporations not living up to their contractual obligations affecting Alberta's ranchers and farmers? And how will you demonstrate that? Sure. I've, I spent a considerable amount of time over the summers talking to farmers and landowner groups. And as some, as, uh, some of you know, I grew up in a rare, rural area where there's gas development and there's some of these old inactive wells there. And there's a, uh, a, a landowner group that's out there that I spent considerable amount of time with trying to understand the situation. And it's absolutely unacceptable that if and when oil and gas companies aren't paying the full lease payment to, uh, to farmers, farmers have the wells, the, the infrastructure on their property, they've signed a contract for it, these oil and gas companies need to need to pay the the, uh, the surface right holders in full, and uh, we're we're taking some steps to to take a look at the Surface Rights Act to to make sure it's being complied with specifically Section 27 of that Act and how these uh, energy companies are dealing with the the ranchers. It's a problem. I'm aware of it. We're addressing it. Our second favorite industry is pissed at gears of inaction. Oil corporations have taken advantage of them long enough that they have started to realize they actually have the power to make us regulate them. Will you commit to launching an investigation into the costs associated with the impact of multinational uh, oil and gas companies not living up to their obligations to those in the province, or for those in the province's uh, agricultural sector? We're actually regulating it. Um, under the AER, we have the authority and the regulations to require them to do things. We've taken steps inside the AER with our liability management framework to ensure that the, the timely cleanup of oil and gas wells, um, that there's a mandatory inventory reduction. And I'd like to point out there's very few uh, oil and gas companies that aren't meeting up to their commitments. In fact, there's some that are exceeding it brilliantly. Just recently, I, I saw an ESG presentation by one oil and gas company that has a lot of inactive inventory, and they're committed to getting to zero by 2040. And by that, I mean to have all of their environmental liabilities, inactive and old oil and gas wells, com completely cleaned up by 2040. That's going to require a significant amount of spend, but they're committed to do it. And I want to want to go out and start challenging all the oil and gas companies to meet that to meet that target and to meet that challenge. I think it's important. I think we've heard enough from Alberta uh, ranchers and uh, that, that this needs to be addressed. Dude, I heard you. We're going to do some shit. Settle down and eat some more anecdotes.